All right, this is tragic. I'm, gonna, I'm writing a story. I'm not writing a story. Yeah, I kind of am. This is a story I'm writing about a story I read. Uh, this suicidal boy, young boy, kills himself and hangs himself in his mom's house, attic, where his, where they say his uh, sister used to take him to hide out when they say mom drinking fits would start and make it hell on him. And he drank too, but it wasn't as bad, the boy says, in his writing. Uh, and the school, he blames the school, Holy Angels. Uh, is the name Holy Angels in there? You can see it on his shirt. Holy Angels Catholic Academy. He failed, but he didn't care. He just wanted out. He was getting bullied by kids at school. And the teachers didn't do anything, he writes in his letter. So... What's my take on it? Are they bashing Catholic schools? Are they bashing parents? Are they bashing teachers and admins? They want letters and phone calls being made to the school, to the president, to the lady and the principal, uh, harassing her at home, getting her to resign. And here's my take on it. Well, I went through similar bullshit at a school where it wasn't a Catholic school, but it was one of the top-scoring schools in the country. And my daughter was getting yelled at by wicked teachers. And uh, she was getting abused by really elderly senior staff uh, out on the playground. And I saw one of the teachers basically grabbing a kid by the ear, walking him through the hallway. And me and my wife, Terry, at the time, got basically kicked out of the school for trying to fucking say, you know, stand our ground about bullshit going on. So that school was fucking hell. Solano Pacific in, in um, San Diego, California, in Carmel Valley. Nasty. Um, the principal was a terror. Uh, a lying, two-faced bees, they call them. The kids call the teachers and all the people that work there bees. Because they, um, well, anyway, I caught her in a lie. She, uh, was stealing, or it was in cahoots with my ex-wife to get my daughter to stay in class instead of go to the library next door when it was my day to pick her up. They kept her in a corner. They hung up the phone on, on her when I was talking to her at the school from a distance one day. Took the phone right out of her hand and hung it up on her. And I got it all on film and I posted it to YouTube and then YouTube took it down. Hmm, interesting, huh? So, Principal Fregosa. Yeah, you. Uh, and, and your buddies there in the office. All of them. Guilty as hell. And I've spoken to a lot of people about Catholic schools that have got raised in Catholic schools. So, they told me their stories, and I have no doubt that nothing was done. If anything, worse things were done by the teachers at the school. There might have been one or two, you know, guidance counselors or somebody that helped out to make things easier on the kid but in the end those people have to do whatever the principal says or they lose their job so this family got a attorney on the case and is saying there's a defamation campaign that the school's putting against the parents and they're going after the parents so I think my personal opinion is they're both wrong because you got reports from the kids saying that the, the boy always started fights saying how come you're not my friend <coughs> someone could have been made up bullshit I got a feeling he was just getting bullied and I see the bullying happening at school. And you know what it all boils down to? Believe it or not, you know, they, there's, another, there's another case where alcohol is involved, right? The mother's drinking a lot, father's drinking too. All this drinking gets put on to us as that, if that's a good thing in all these papers and all Bud Light commercials all over the place. Uh, not that I'm against Bud Light, I mean, just one, one once in a while, it's okay, but these people get out of control with it. And there's really no prohibition on it. But weed is prohibitioned. So if you flip it with weed instead of marijuana, instead of drinking alcohol, you drink, you're smoking weed or eating edibles. The world is a better place, and these types of things don't happen where the kid, nobody's got time for the kid. So this all stems all the way back. Everything relates to weed. We're in the wrong diet, but it all goes back up to the top where the Congress and the state legislatures are the ones that are not allowing weed on the ballots that you can vote for in an election year and make it bypass them and say, shit, weed's legal, you know, no prohibitions on it. 
and that would we'd win hands down that would be it then we could switch our diets and have one glass of wine and have some edibles and by the time the wine you know, you buzz from your wine and the, the weed kicks in and you have a better sex life and your health improves all this stuff all these things as Arnold would say 